on the seed estimates I produced on my constituency level analysis, I have Fine Gael at 56, Fianna Fáil 37, uh, Sinn Féin 23, uh, Labour 18, uh, the Green Party actually winning a seat in the new Dublin Fingal and independence on 19 and the United Left Alliance on 4. So the various options, Fine Gael and Labour wouldn't have enough seats to I was going to say, government. I haven't really done the maps yeah, in my head, but it doesn't look like 74. a viable. Uh, the only viable two-party coalition option would be Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. Combined, they'd have around... I, I dread to think of it, actually, Adrian. Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil in coalition. Although, when you think about it as was noted on Twitter yesterday, uh, to be in power just in time for 1916. So it would, there'd be a certain poetry to it that nine, the 1916 centenary marks the formal end of civil war politics. Uh, so the other options... That's about the, the only uh, poetry to it, actually, Adrian. Yeah. But the, the, the reality is that 77 is the required number of seats for the uh, bare minimum in the new doll. 79, it's now 79. 158. So... Uh, Labour and Fine Gael, like, there'd be a few seats off at the moment. And there's, like, they could argue, like, they're at the worst position possible maybe now after the harshest budget yes. they'd be hoping they're bringing in. So they might say, well, hopefully we're going to pull up. Uh, Labour's problem, Labour is probably in the worst position of the two parties because, as I said, the boundary changes haven't helped them. But they're now facing a very different political landscape. Mm. Sinn Féin are stronger, Fianna Fáil are regaining strength. So seats that might have won in the previous election because they were ahead of the Sinn Féin candidates or the United Left Alliance candidates or the Fianna Fáil candidates and winning the seat because they could pick up in their transfers, chances are now the Sinn Féin candidate might be stronger than the Labour candidate mm. and it might be working the other way around next time. So that's uh, Labour's problem. And another potential coalition could be Fianna Fáil, Sinn Féin and Labour. It could indeed. Uh, they would almost, they'd be very close. On my figures, I had them at a combined number of 78, which would be just one, one seat short. But mm. there's so many Fianna Fáil, Gene Pool independents that you could form a coalition on that. Probably not that likely, but it's a mathematical possibility. And just on uh, Labour, you were talking there about Labour not doing so well and Sinn Féin being stronger. Do you think that Labour is taking the hit for government decisions? They are, although what's interesting, Nora, is if you look at the polls, uh, they haven't changed that much in the last seven or eight months. I was actually expecting them to be much worse than this poll. This is the first poll after the budget, but they're, mm. they're more or less held in that kind of low, lower to mid-teens level that they've been more or less at for the last eight months. So that might be some hope for them. But the problem for Labour is they might be winning fewer seats now on a higher share of the vote than they would have done when they're in a similar situation in the 1997 general election, when they yeah. came in at the end of the Rainbow Coalition. Just looking at your constituency breakdown, I mean, it's very interesting when you look at um, Fianna Fáil being more popular than Fine Gael in the Carla Kilkenny constituency, for example. What do you put that down to? Uh, that's just extrapolating the votes from the last election. So Fianna Fáil actually did quite well in Carlo Kilkenny. They yeah. were, in 2011, they were... They didn't do as well as Fine Gael. They actually won only one seat and Fine Gael won three, but their actual, actual shared votes in Carroll Kenny was 28%. Yeah. And there was a lot of constituencies, Leash Offley, Cork, South Central, where they did, inverted commas, relatively well. And these are constituencies now where they could very well be outpolling Fine Gael the next election and possibly winning, probably I'd say in Cork, South Central, Carroll yeah. Kenny, winning two seats. Even... The fact that Leash Offley has been divided into two constituencies, you'd look at it and say if Fianna Fáil played the cards right, they could take two out of three seats in a constituency like Offley. Finally and, and briefly, how much of Fianna Fáil's popularity do you think is due to Fianna Fáil and Mayall Martin as opposed to uh, unpopularity with the coalition? It's a hard one to say, Nora. I think Fianna Fáil in some ways, they've actually been helped by how bad they did at the last election because they've been able to bring in new blood, so... A lot of the people, apart from maybe Michal Martin himself, a lot of the the people now you see representing Fianna Fáil on the TV, they're not people you associate with the last government. Uh, you people like Michael McGrath, people like Avril Power are all high profile, mm. but they're not associated with the last government. So in some ways, just like Fine Gael after the 2002 election, the bad result in 2011 could help Fianna Fáil. And we could see that happening mm. in the next local elections where they're getting a lot. And of course, the gender quota aspect mm. is interesting as well, because Glad you which, party has, which party will find it easier to be in gender quotas? Fianna Fáil. Exactly. So many options, so many possibilities there for a new uh, TD. 